finished? Oh, I'm sorry. I should have helped. Ah, no. Two pots, plates, and a salad bowl don't take much effort. Although I'm trying not to take offense, such a less than enthusiastic response to my home-cooked meal. No, the pasta was really good. <laughs> yeah. I wish you would have eaten some of it. Oh, Brenda, you're so tiny. You look like a gust of wind could blow you away. Mm-hmm. Well, for a kid who was called Tubbo, I think that's kind of an achievement, don't you? I hate it when Daddy would call you that. Me too. Oh, I wish you would have realized how beautiful you were going to be. How beautiful you were then, if only he'd looked. <laughs> God. Oh. I remember back then I used to always try and convince myself that I didn't care what he thought, you know? And then I'd go out and do something insane just to prove it. I think now I'm really starting to realize that I've filled my life with so much noise, you know, so I wouldn't have to hear myself or or I would never have to feel any of my feelings. Finally caught up with me. <laughs> you really scared me, kiddo. Oh, watching those men drag you off if I had a gun, I think I would have shot them. You should have. <laughs> yeah, then you'd have been signing for me. No, then Jax would have had to sign for both of us. <laughs> Thank God he was here. When I got his message about you, it took me two days straight traveling to get back. Oh, did I blow some big deal for you? Oh, you're gonna lie right now. Tell the truth. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, if I'm gonna savage it, I'd have to get back to London uh, fairly soon. Well, that's okay. I understand. No, you don't. I want you to come with me, at least for a little while. Please, Bren, come live in London with me. Did you miss me? Am I interrupting something? Uh, no. Joey has to go back to work in London. I asked Brenda to come live with me. Oh. What do you think about that? Um, well, you know, this house is the first place that's ever really been mine. So I don't really want to leave it. I can see that. But I totally understand that you have to go back to work. I mean, I know that's your whole thing. You don't need to babysit me. That's not what I'm doing. It's kind of what you're doing. And it really means a lot to me, but I am okay now. All right. All right, then. When do you want to leave? Uh, I don't know, as soon as possible. Okay, I'll call my pilot. Jax! No, it's okay. I mean, what's the point on having him on, on staff if, you know, if you don't keep him busy? Oh. When do you want to leave? What time? Uh, tonight, if you're serious. I mean, then I could make some meetings tomorrow morning. If you're sure, you're okay. I am absolutely positive that I am okay. All right? Yes. Everyone. In fact, I don't know. I'm feeling a little domestic right now. Since you made dinner, I think I might have to go make you dessert before you leave. Well, in that case, <laughs> you will need these. <clears throat> Mint cookies from the Port Charles Hotel. There you go, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> eat some. I will eat them, you guys, okay? Jeez, I'm certainly not going to share any of them with you two. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you. I was about to say the same thing. For what? For trusting me. I know Dr. Rogers has been hounding you about having her readmitted. Yeah, well, anyone can see that she's better off at home. Especially when she has you. Yeah, one thing I learned from this is that Brenda has to recover on her own. You know, making it better one day and an hour at a time, it's not good for her. No, 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 no. Wait, what are we going to do then? She is not ready to live on her own. It's okay. I've, um, I've got a nurse coming. She's actually coming around this evening. And if Brenda has no objection, she can stay the night. Well, if you're sure about her. Yeah, she was thoroughly investigated, and I interviewed her myself. <laughs> well, 
You want to go pack? Okay. Hi. Good evening, Mr. Jackson. Come in. Thank you. Did you find the place all right? Well, I actually drove past it twice. The driveway was a little hard to find in the woods. Oh, what a beautiful house. Yes, Brenda's put a lot of work into it. Jax, will you grab this teapot for me? You left it on the top. Shelf. Who are you? Who is this? Mrs. Hayes. Carmen. Carmen, yeah. Um, please, sit down. And you see, the thing is, I guess Jax didn't have a chance to let me know that he was hiring a nurse, so I was kind of um, surprised. <laughs> well, Mr. Jax thought that uh, you'd like to have somebody stay in the house with you, so he asked me to stop by for an interview. Oh, well, I guess there's really no need for an interview. If Mr. Jax thinks that you're good, then I'm sure you're the best. Um, do you have any questions for me? No, I don't think so. Great. Well, you know what? My sister is about to leave in about an hour to London, which will leave me alone. And um, I'd really like for you to start tonight, if you can. Uh, uh, I suppose I can. I keep an overnight bag in the car for emergencies. Oh, well, great. Uh, there's a room for you upstairs at the end of the hall. Oh, thank you, Miss Barrett. Mm -hmm. Brenda. Brenda, um... May I use your phone? I have to call my husband and tell him I'm working tonight. Oh, sure. Uh, you can use the one in the kitchen. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, she kind of showed up a little early. <clears throat> I didn't have time to prepare you. Oh, really? That's okay. She seems nice. Well, she came highly recommended, and she has a stack of references, but of course, no, if no, you don't no, feel no, comfortable no, no. with her, I, then... I feel totally fine with her. You know? Good. In fact, the truth is, I I don't really feel like staying here alone yet, I don't think. And it would be unfair of me to ask you to stay. So, this is probably the best plan. Well, it's only for a while. Yeah. Well, as long as I can stay in my house, that's all I care about. I, um, I better get going or there's going to be no point in my leaving tonight. <sighs> Neither one of you believes in traveling lightly, do you? Hey, this is traveling lightly. Hey, you know what? Wow. <laughs> I really do have to agree with you. For a trip to China, three bags is total self-discipline. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. I think I liked it better when you two hated each other. <laughs> we never hated each other. No. What are you talking about? I want you to take these with you and eat them on the plane, because I can get some more tomorrow. Honey. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Mm, I love you, Brenda. I love you, too. OK. OK. Get out. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Are you gonna be okay? Yes, I I promise you that I am okay. <sighs> All right. Bye. Hey, call me tomorrow and give me a uh, report on Carmen, okay? I will, and you call me when you get there, please. Yes, mother. Okay. All right. Bye, honey. See ya. Bye. See ya. Yeah. more windows. It's 
just different. You don't like it? Well, you, you can watch the sunrise. That's windows face east. It's nice. Why are you here? What do you want? To tell you I'm sorry. flipped out and smashed a bunch of stuff. Oh, man, I just want you to know that I understand that. I've done it. When I left the quarter mains, I tore up a whole room. But at least I had some place to go, you know? I could go away. And they didn't try to stop me or lock me up, because if they had, I'd be dead. I would have fought until they killed me. Or I killed myself. So, anything that I've done to put you in that place, I am sorry. You know, um, Jack said that you thought Sonny wanted to kill you. He doesn't. He didn't want any of this to happen. What does he want? Why did he send you here? He didn't. So you've really taken his place, haven't you? In the organization? Yeah. You think you have everything now? You don't, you know. You don't have everything that Sonny had. <laughs>